When did the government begin confiscating people's cryptocurrency? From everyone, not only the bad guys, I cannot believe what I am seeing. A lot of Shiba Inus are sinking. The main reason is that Bitcoin's current price cannot be maintained. Is that why we haven't been able to surpass the prior record highs yet? And why do so many modern day crypto enthusiasts choose to abandon ship altogether? Here we'll discover. Important notice, the crypto market. It keeps falling as time passes. Declining prices persist. And it's making investors very nervous. The market, which was previously booming, appears to be in a state of perpetual turmoil now. Real people are being impacted by this trend, not simply statistics. People who put their money into the market with high expectations are suddenly seeing huge losses. This decline is weighing heavily on communities that were established on the promise and excitement of crypto. As aspirations of financial autonomy appear to be slipping further and further away, despair and annoyance run wild. So what exactly is going on? For what reason does the level of panic persist? For what reasons does the market keep collapsing? A recent Bitcoin post that gained a lot of traction online is largely responsible for the current state of hysteria. A strategic Bitcoin reserve is proposed to be established by this measure. The federal government's open and honest handling of Bitcoin assets is the primary objective. Among its many connected goals is the reduction of expenditure through the use of funds held in the Federal Reserve System. This endeavor has been significantly aided by Senator Cynthia Lummis. She thinks a strategic reserve would be a good way to control Bitcoin's volatility and set standards for the market. Legislators in Congress started this movement after realizing Bitcoin was becoming big and that regulation was needed to help it expand while keeping it transparent. Nevertheless, investors are understandably confused and worried about the adoption of this bill. Market anxiety and uncertainty have grown as a result of people's disquiet over the prospect of the government exerting substantial control over Bitcoin. These worries were magnified by the rapid dissemination of rumors and speculation on social media. Lawmakers in Congress saw the value in regulating Bitcoin more strictly and hence introduced the measure. They said it may make the cryptocurrency industry more trustworthy and stable. Nevertheless, a lot of crypto enthusiasts and investors are apprehensive about government involvement because they think it could result in increased control and less freedom. However, doesn't that bode well? Why has it sent shockwaves through the cryptocurrency market and caused a crash for several days in a row? A government-run Bitcoin reserve may sound like a good idea at first. One interpretation is that it validates Bitcoin by indicating that it has found a way into mainstream banking systems. Having said that, things are not as simple as they seem. Many investors are worried that the government may try to regulate a decentralized currency like Bitcoin. The decentralization and autonomy of Bitcoin from central banks and regulatory bodies is a major selling point. Concerns about more government oversight and control stem from the fact that this core feature of Bitcoin is vulnerable to potential government intervention. The unexpected unveiling of the law also left many people wondering what would happen next. Many are concerned about the implications for Bitcoin's free market character and how the government could utilize this power. People are afraid to hang on to their assets because of all the unknowns, which causes prices to fall even more. This anxiety is being heightened by the lightning-fast dissemination of news and speculation on social media. More volatility and a never-ending downward spiral in the market result from people's hasty reactions to news stories, which they do not always comprehend completely. The general public is in a state of fear because some believe bad things will happen if this law is passed. This dread brings back the events of 1933 when the United States government took gold from its own people as a means to alleviate the Great Depression. People were forced to trade in their gold for paper money as the government sought to stabilize the economy. Many residents were left worried about their financial futures after this stunning move stripped them of their money and security. People are worried that Bitcoin could face the same destiny as other cryptocurrencies as they think about its past. Market participants are understandably anxious about the prospect of government intervention, whether in the form of a seizure or strict regulation of Bitcoin. Because of this fear, investors liquidate their investments in a state of panic, causing prices to fall even more and making the situation worse in general. Many are worried about the security of their digital assets because of the persistence of government acts from the past. People are understandably worried about the possibility of losing their cryptocurrency for a variety of reasons. One advantage of cryptocurrencies is the autonomy they provide financially, eliminating the need for banks. A lot of people think that digital assets are a great method to keep the government out of their money. What draws people to cryptocurrency is its decentralized character. The public is reassured that their funds are secure from any possible interference from the government. They react. 
emotionally because they are afraid of losing control and having their assets taken. People put a lot of effort into their assets, so it's understandable that they would be upset if they were to lose them. Investors are fleeing to save their holdings, which adds to the market's anxiety and volatility. All of this discomfort brings to light a major ethical dilemma. The very essence of Bitcoin individual liberty and self-determination is at odds with the notion of confiscating cryptocurrency. A big attraction for many investors is the fact that cryptocurrencies provide people autonomy over their own money without any interference from the government. Those who have the belief in the freedom money concept of Bitcoin feel betrayed whenever the government threatens to seize their crypto. For many, the prospect of giving up control over their financial future to central banks is highly disturbing and this is why digital currencies are gaining popularity. Because of this, faith in the banking sector is in jeopardy. The cryptocurrency movement will have a hard time taking off if people lose faith in the security of their digital assets. People who put their money into investments may worry that they could lose it all at any second. A lot of people are hoping to become financially independent with cryptocurrency, but this worry is making them doubt their dreams. They will be let down if the very institutions they sought to flee begin to have any influence at all. Within a society that holds the concept of individual liberty in high regard, cryptocurrencies are based on faith, but the prospect of confiscation casts doubt on that. Many are left to question whether genuine financial independence is possible in the face of ever-changing restrictions, as it brings up significant concerns regarding the power dynamic between individuals and the government. Keep in mind, nevertheless, that you shouldn't freak out entirely. No cryptocurrency owned by an individual can be confiscated by the United States government, according to the Act. This ensures that the basic rights of cryptocurrency holders are safeguarded, regardless of the concerns and assumptions. Uncertainty may result from this bill's introduction, but keep in mind that rules usually seek to establish a framework rather than limit personal freedoms. As the market readjusts to these changes, things should settle thanks to the crypto community's resiliency. An investor's ability to weather market storms depends on his or her ability to maintain composure. But this is all speculation at this point, and it's causing massive fear in the cryptocurrency market. There is a lot of anxiety since people don't know what will happen next. There is perpetual worry that circumstances may change despite the fact that the statute explicitly stipulates that the United Stipulates cannot confiscate cryptocurrency. What the heck? As things develop in ways we aren't anticipating, our worst fear may materialize. Many investors are already feeling anxious and stressed out due to this uncertainty. So what are your thoughts on the matter? Please share your thoughts in the uh, comment section. Click on one of the videos on the screen if you're interested in finding out more. We have reached the final segment of this video. Give the video a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments if you found it entertaining. The YouTube algorithm is much improved because of this. The more people you can get to watch this video, the better. It is time to spread the word.